Hello, fam. So, oh my gosh, I got gray hair on me. Um, I'm downstairs crafting today, so I figured I'd do the um, Eerie Covenant. Did a tag, open up witch tag. And I've been loving everybody's responses, so I wanted to participate. Uh, question one. Biggest witchcraft success and failure. Um, I think the, my biggest success is meeting so many great witches um, to learn from and share with. And failure. Um, I guess my biggest witchcraft failure would not be, would be um, doing spells to win Powerball and then them not working. <laughs> that would be my biggest failure. I need to win Powerball. Um, as we all do, I'm sure. Something in your practice that you do, you do that you feel embarrassed or silly about. This one I've been thinking about, I really can't think of anything that I'm feel embarrassed about uh, or silly. No, pretty much, I mean, I do what I want. <laughs> so, um, least favorite thing about being a witch. Um, just all the misunderstanding that surrounds witchcraft. I mean, it's much better than when I first started out. Um, I was initiated in 1984, and um, it was a lot more misunderstood then than it is now, of course. But um, there's still people that have no clue. You know, they live in their little bubble, and they're not interested in opening their mind to anything else. Um, so... You know, I still get a lot of questions, which is fine. I, you know, I don't mind the answering the questions if they have them. Um, I don't openly share unless I'm asked. You know, lots of people know I'm a witch in town. That's fine. Um, some people ask, some people don't, which is, that's all right. Um, so, yeah, just uh, all the misunderstandings, I guess, would be my least favorite thing. The next one is... Is there anything you preach but do not practice? Um, living a healthy lifestyle. I do great for a few months and then boom, I fall off the wagon. So um, I smoke, I eat candy, I drink too much coffee. Um, what else? Mm, I have prescription medicine that I would love to get rid of, but my herbal stuff isn't powerful enough. Um, I'm on like blood pressure meds and uh, antidepressant slash pain meds. I'm on Cymbalta, so it um, has all sorts of nasty side effects that I'd love to get rid of, but I can't come up with an herbal remedy that's concentrated enough uh, to to help with the pain and the depression anxiety disorder. So I'm stuck taking that awful medicine, Cymbalta, which it works. It's just very hard to get off of, I understand. In fact, when I, um, when I don't take it, I get like a wicked headache and um, like brain zaps. It's almost like an electrical storm goes off. It's so odd. Anyway, bad med. Super expensive, too, which is not helpful. Um, so, yeah, healthy lifestyle. I'm not good at that. Um, do you ever feel scared, insecure, or unsure during spell work? Um, for the most part, no. But, you know, you, I don't know if you guys have ever had a spell backfire because you weren't specific enough. Um, so I have, <laughs> um, it wasn't quite what I was thinking about when I cast the spell. And, um, so, you know, the thought runs through my mind. Oh, did I ask the right question? Am I, am I putting out the right specific intention? So this won't go haywire. 
you know, it's like a genie and the three wishes. You gotta be careful what you wish for. Um, so yeah, sometimes I'm unsure that I've written a spell, uh, just exactly the way I want it, but I'm getting better at, you know, over 30 whatever years. Um, I'm better at wording things now. I've learned the hard way. Um, what do you do to reconnect when you're feeling out of touch with your practice? Um, this is a good one. I love this. And come March, I'm going to be so um, depressed and out of touch with my witchcraft. It happens every year. This year, I'm going to try not to let it happen. Um, I get out in nature. And up in the northeast here in New Hampshire, we're just under uh, the lakes region. So we get pretty cold and we get, you know, the lake effect, snow and all that stuff. So, um, yeah, just getting back in nature, getting my hands in the ground, gardening, um, tea and tarot, a good witchy book, um, doing some candle magic, um, meditating. Uh, that's a big one. And that's about it. That's all I do, really, um, to get back in touch for the year. So this year, hopefully that won't happen. Hopefully I'll just keep keep going. <laughs> um, number seven, the craziest witchcraft-related thing that's happened to you. I can't think of anything. Um, nothing specific. Um, I used to go down to Salem during the, um, haunted happenings week, but there are so many very strange people that go that week. <laughs> um, you get the Christians on the corner beating their Bibles, yelling that, you know, witches are all going to go to hell. And then you have the witches that are yelling back at them. And, um, I don't, it's just not my deal. So if I go down, it's not during that week, but that's usually the craziest stuff I've seen is down there. Um, not to say it's a bad place to go. It's fun. Um, I love the shops down there. They're super expensive and you can get things cheaper online. But it's the whole experience. You know, the people and you're passing all these witches and you know they're witches because you can feel it. The uh, energy down there is palpable that week because a lot of witches go that week too. So, but yeah, I've seen some crazy people down there or witches or whatever. <laughs> I don't have anything specific that's happened to me uh, witchcraft-wise. Um, have you ever performed a ritual or spell in the company of someone who's not a witch? Yes, my children and my husband. Um, they're not witches. Well, I might have two that are witchy, um, but nobody that's been initiated or that studies or anything like that. They've just been raised in the craft, so they're more, uh, their aesthetic is more witchy than the other two. Um, do you believe in predestination or fate? Let's see. I do. I think that, um, part of me thinks that we choose what we need to learn in that incarnation that we're coming to. But then, you know, I think of the two-year-old that's going through cancer or, um, you know, somebody that dies in a horrific accident or um, event such as like the Twin Towers. And I think, you know, what, what would possibly be the lesson that they need to learn from that uh, whole experience or, or have they learned what they came to learn and that's just their way to pass on to the next life to learn more? Um, I often 
thought that we choose our parents, but I, I don't, I don't know. I'm on the fence about that. Um, but I definitely think we have some say in where we're going and what we're going to be learning that time to finally ascend to not have to come back. Um, our soul will have uh, ascended enough that we don't have anything left that we need to learn. So that's my two cents on that. Um, your biggest witchy or pagan pet peeve. Um, I have a couple, I guess. It's not, um, it doesn't really aggravate me too much, but the only thing that I could think of was, um, which is the think they know everything and that their direction is the only path to go. That drives me a little crazy. Um, I think that there is way too many pantheons and way too many paths to follow in this practice that, uh, to be narrow minded, you gotta accept people's paths, you know, or at least tolerance. Um, and just, you know, realize that you never know everything. Nobody ever knows everything about this path. I don't care who it is. Um, even the, you know, the authors, famous witches, and nobody knows everything. Um, I think we're all here to learn and share our knowledge. And if everybody kind of puts it out there like that, learning and sharing, uh, their way of doing things without the air that it's the only way, then that would be good. That would be great for the witchy community. Um, and the only other thing I can think of is when people are filming and they're watching themselves instead of the, you know, looking at the camera, um, that kind of drives me insane a little bit. Uh, yeah, so, anyway, that's the only two pet peeves I can think of. Um, bum, 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 bum. that's it. All right. That was fun. I loved everybody's responses. So, yeah, go check out Eerie Covenant's channel. Um, I'll try to link it down below. It didn't print, so I'll have to do it upstairs, but. Um, Eerie Covenant, open up witch tag is the, um, is the tag. So thanks everybody for watching and I hope you all have a great day. Bye.